agents and legislation that's pending concerning their activities. And we'll preview the Wildcats of Northwestern. All that and more coming up next. Michigan Replay. With the replay, the Wolverines beat Indiana 31-6 in a key game in the Big Ten race. And a little bit bigger margin than I think a lot of people expected, maybe even you. I think that's true, uh, Jim. I felt we would score some points, and um, not necessarily 31. But uh, the surprising thing was how well our defense shut that great offense down. You talked about coming through the big three weeks in your schedule, Michigan State, Iowa, Indiana week to week to week, back to back, 2-0-1 out of there. It puts you in great shape for the Big Ten. Well, it does. I wish we didn't have the uh, tie on there, but uh, we did play three of the best teams. I don't say they're absolute best, but three of the best teams in the league, and uh, none of them were able to beat us. One of the keys to the game on Saturday was the fact that your fullback was able to make big plays, and your offense got you going early. Well, that's true. Um, we... Um, they, they did a good job on Tony Bowles. I don't think he was quite as effective as he has been. Uh, here we had a third and three situation on our first drive, and Mike threw to Colasar for first down. And then this play really shocked him uh, when Leroy Horde uh, hit up the middle on a uh, belly play and uh, broke all the way for a touchdown. Did you see that because you ran the fullback in there enough to, to let ago. him know? Did you know that they were going to be susceptible? Well, a year ago against uh, in, in the losing cause, uh, we ran the fullback yard bunch 18 times down there and gained 77 yards. So we we know the fullback can do some damage against this team, so we did figure on them running them. Down. They come back, move the ball well through the air. This Schnell guy is a solid Schnell's quarterback. Schnell's an excellent quarterback. You got him down in there. This is a 53-yard field goal, Jim, with the win, and um, that was a tremendous kick that uh, put uh, Indiana on the board. Stojanovic is one of the best kickers. They got a great kicking game. They sure do. Here's a third and 19, a shovel pass to Bunch. And believe it or not, he went 20 for a first down. Good call. Well, good <laughs> well executed play. I don't know about the call, but it was a well executed play. Defense was tough. This gives you an example. It's hard. They're a tough tackling team and um, get some tough yardage on them here. Here, Bunch breaks up the middle. I thought uh, Gerard ran extremely well, hard. Um, our fullback play was very good uh, in this ballgame. Mike's back to pass again, comes down the middle and hits uh, uh, McMurtry for a first down. Uh, Greg's really come into his own, played uh, two fine games back to back. We run the option and Mike keeps the ball, goes for four or five. We're down in there close and <clears throat> run the option play, <laughs> kicks the ball to Tony Bowles and he fumbles the ball. And that's two of those, Jim, in the last two games, and there are only so many of those that a coach can take, you know. Especially on the goal line when you're going in. Right, before he cracks. <laughs> <laughs> before you crack? Yeah, before I crack. Uh, Indiana comes right back, moves the football, um, put a pressure on uh, Schnell here. He's a scrambling guy. And this is a key play, because on this tackle, he falls on his back, and Schnell gets hurt. And, and I think he, what he got, Jim, was, I think, a hip pointer when he hit the ground there, and and that slowed him down really the rest of the game and I'm sure that hurt Indiana's chances. Because he was doing a great job and they came out from your one yard line, returned field position, uh, turned it around. Well, they kicked it out of bounds on us. We had a penalty, we had to start from own two, failed to get a first down by a yard, uh, punted and uh, they got field position on us and then hit this pass uh, to get down in their close. Uh, we stiffen and hold, they go for the field goal and get it. We go in at halftime, leading by a precarious 1.7 to 6. A precarious 1 point? Right. What, are you turning into a broadcaster <laughs> on me now? <laughs> you know, at halftime, it's 7-6, and I honestly thought that Michigan was fortunate to be ahead by a point, and yet I looked at the statistics, and you were still statistically oh, yeah. better. Oh, yeah. So the thing that was bad, Jim, is the same old story. The fumble on the goal line cost us a touchdown, but we'd have had 14 at the half. Uh, every time we would get something going, we have a holding penalty or, 
or uh, an offside or a, a clipping penalty. Um, we've got to stop being a penalty team. We stop ourselves more than the opponents do. Well, the second half turned out to be an explosion, and the fullbacks certainly helped the explosion as Michigan got the victory. Don't go away. That's next when Michigan Replay continues. I don't know. I can't even explain it. I just got loose, and I said, oh, there's the end zone, and I just kept running, hoping nobody caught me. I guess the nose guard went one way, and Vitaly just cleaned him out, and I jumped over him, and then nobody was there except two DBs, and, you know, I curled over the ball because I thought they were going to hit me, and then closed my eyes, and next thing you know, I was in the open, and I was like, oh, I didn't believe it myself. came out determined to do the same thing in the second half and we came out pads down and flying around and playing ball and we just set them down. <laughs> the Wolverines had a precarious, as Bo said, <laughs> seven to six lead at halftime. And what did you say in halftime? Because you got the kids going. The second well, half was all theirs. I, I, first of all, I, I, I complimented the defense for playing well. And uh, I did admonish the offense a little bit on these penalties. You I, admonished? Yeah. Did you get your thesaurus <laughs> out before this show or what? No, but uh, I was a little upset about all those penalties. Well, right? the, the key again was the fact that defense, especially in the third quarter, held on their well, first possession and yes. the field position battle was yours. We, uh, we had the wind, they had the football. We kicked to them, the defense had to hold. They did it constantly and then uh, forced them to kick out to us, and we got field position. You start, you this know. This is our first drive after the half, after we had stopped them, third and six. Great pass to McMurphy uh, right on the sideline uh, for a first down. That was a key play. This is Hoyt again, big strong back and running hard on and, the off tackle. And, and running out of split backs. And we got stopped again. So had to go to the field goal and uh, got it, and that made it 10 to 6. Running on a split backs and kind of did a lot of different things against them. Gives us an opportunity to pass well and at the same time to give our fullbacks a chance to run as well. And here we see your defense really played hard in the first series and the second series in this right. third quarter. And we finally get the ball back again and we go to the reverse and, and um, McMurtry throws the ball to Callaway here. I thought, I thought that ball would never come down, to tell you the truth. <laughs> That's a little razzle-dazzle for you, isn't it? Well, it's, uh, it's a semi-fancy play. <laughs> semi-fancy, huh? <laughs> and, uh, but Mick Murphy's got a good arm. He can throw the football. Here we put a little pressure. Mesner catches uh, uh, the quarterback Mark, for a sack. Mark just never has a bad game, does he? he? Just, I've never seen him with a bad game. Now, maybe he's had one. I don't recall one, at least not this year. Uh, here we... Uh, misjudged the first down marker over there and failed to get it, and then we had the buck for a first down. And then uh, Mike goes back and hits Callaway here over the middle, almost gets in, stopped at the, to the, about the two-yard line, and then uh, Leroy Horde going around the right side goes in standing up, and we take a 24-6 to six lead. Out of the wishbone, that's a big wishbone with Bunch and Horde in there, and uh, the Bulls, the other running yeah. back, so you got a pretty loaded wishbone. That's right. That gives you a little power in there to tell you the truth. Here's Mike throws to, uh, we're going down in to score again and throws the ball to Derek Walker. And Derek made the classic mistake of reaching out to get the extra yard with the football in his arm and fumbled it. But defense gets it right so back. We get it back uh, when Beta Murray intercepts and um, we get possession uh, of the football. We're still here in the third quarter. Uh, Tony Bold breaks up the middle for good yardage. And, uh, we're battling the way in here and controlling the game, really, Jim, doing a good job. This is the fourth quarter now. This is Horde breaking loose at the line of scrimmage, comes right up the gut again, and a very difficult to tackle once he gets his uh, momentum going. And that was the end of the scoring and made it 31-6. to six. The rest of the fourth quarter, just a little bit of back and forth, they were trying to get back in it, but uh, one of the things you said after the game Saturday is that the defense really, for the first time all season, played maybe its best and had a best effort all That year. was particularly true in the um, third period because we kicked to them. We had to win. We had to stop them, force them to kick. We did it time and again, time and again. And uh, that field position led to 17 points in the third period and uh, put the game out of reach for Indiana. And the other thing you did, you talked about, is that you wanted to take them out of the running game, force them to throw. And you did a good job on Anthony Thompson, who is one right. of the real good backs in right. this league. 
Well, our defensive guys uh, called it uh, playing 60 minutes of full line drill. <laughs> uh, because, uh, you know, every week we go our first offense against our first defense in just the lines, not uh, the backs and the lines. We don't have the wide receivers. And it's a pretty tough, nasty drill. Lasts for about 15 to 18 plays. And so rather than talk about that drill, they said, in order to stop Indiana's running game, we had to play 60 minutes of <laughs> a full line defense. And, uh, and that's what they did. And offensively, uh, I think made big plays when you had to. That had to be one of the things you were looking to do in the game. Well, yeah, and it came really from surprising places. Uh, Horde breaking the two big long runs, and then, of course, the McBurtry pass to Callaway. You don't always count on that being successful. But uh, I thought uh, we ran fairly well on them. We got nearly 300 yards, not quite. And, um, and I thought that uh, everybody offensively played well, but, Jim, it was a defensive victory. Believe me when I tell you that. Well, it's in the bank. Michigan beats Indiana 31-6. They're atop the Big Ten standings right now. And coming up on Michigan Replay, we've got a look at the very sticky agent problem and legislation that's pending. Don't go away. That's next on Michigan Replay. I just tried to throw it out there and get to him, you know, not try to make the perfect pass. And as you can see, it wasn't that perfect. You know, just got just got the job done. That's a player we practice you know, at least uh, three, four times a week. You know, I was real surprised that he <laughs> that he called it, and uh, I just said, well, let's see what we can do here. And uh, <clears throat> I just went around in, looked up, and saw he's wide open, just keep it out there and just hope that it got there. Yeah, it was just like catching a punt to me. You know, we work on punts early in the practice. I was like looking up, catching a punt, hoping that uh, the defender didn't run into the ball with his, you know, with his helmet. We were coming back uh, second half. We wanted to start off strong and get some points on the board, and that was a big play. This is a violation of NCAA regulation, and it cost the athlete his eligibility. Ohio State has lost both Chris Carter and Vince Workman to this situation in the last two years, but it can happen anywhere at any time. To try and combat the unscrupulous agent who doesn't bat an eye at bribing an athlete out of school, the Michigan State Legislature is currently considering making laws that would require agents and athletic boosters to clean up their act. And the penalties for non-compliance are severe. It's against the rules of the NCAA. Too excited to play football now because we know that we can do it, and we're going to consistently play. That's, that's the goal, not to have a letdown after a big win. Coach Carr is a saying to, to buckle up after victory. Has been serving satisfied homeowners and businesses for over 60 years. Save $125 now on each Anderson replacement window installed by Fairway. All types, sizes, and styles. Take advantage of beautiful, energy-efficient savings today. Call 354-9310. Remember, the best way is the Fairway. We're able to beat us. One of the keys to the game on Saturday was the fact that your fullback was able to make big plays and your offense got you going early. Well, that's true. Um, we, um, they, they did a good job on Tony Bowles. I don't think he was quite as effective as he has been. Uh, here we had a third and three situation on our first drive and Mike threw to Colasar for first down. And then this play really shocked him uh, when Leroy Hord uh, hit up the middle on a uh, belly play and uh, broke all the way for a touchdown. Did you see that because you ran the fullback in there enough to, to let ago. them know? Did you know that they were going to be susceptible? Well, a year ago against, uh, in, in a losing cause. Uh, Agents and legislation that's pending concerning their activities. And we'll preview the Wildcats of Northwestern. All that and more coming up next. Michigan Replay. With the replay, the Wolverines beat Indiana. Big three weeks in your schedule. Michigan State, Iowa, Indiana. Week to week to week. Back to back. 2-0-1 out of there. It puts you in great shape for the Big Ten. Well, it does. I wish we didn't have the uh, tie on there, but uh, we did play three of the best teams. I don't say they're at absolute best, but three of the best teams in the league. And uh, none of them... 31-6 in a key game in the Big Ten race. And a little bit bigger margin than I think a lot of people expected, maybe even you. I think that's true, uh, Jim. I felt we would score some points, and um, not necessarily 31. But uh, the surprising thing was how well our defense shut that great offense down. You talked about 
coming through the 